Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain. So I very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. I'm here with the part two of how to revise your second year subjects quicker with pharma and micro. So I've added a timestamp and more about me in the description box below. So you can check that out and it will help you navigate better if you only want to see a particular subject. Starting with micro. So a uh, micro will fetch you a good 10 to 12 questions. Now, it may not be as much as PATH or uh, Pharma for that matter, but it is a considerable amount and you can definitely do it along with the antimicrobials of Pharma. Because micro questions come very integrated, like small clin uh, clinical vignette histories and you will have to identify the organism or a specific toxin or even the drug of choice. So, if you do it with it, it will be quickly. Secondly, if micro is a very uh, problem area for you, uh, I would really recommend Dr. Preeti Sharma from Unacademy and specifically her Kickstart Morning Session series. So it's like one class every day and a current session is going on before this upcoming NEET PG or you can also check out her previous classes and for some specific micro topic if you want. And uh, secondly, your vibe. Uh, vibe from DBMCI was a very good collection of last minute images. I mean, which you last day par dekhe jani hai in a quick way. And they will definitely fetch you marks in both NEET PG and NICT for that matter. So, because micro is so pictorial, so many slides, eggs, worms, everything comes. So, just have a look at that if you have the time right now. Now, coming on to topics. So, uh, one, uh, one very big question is, how bacteria kitni karni hai? Now, bacteria is so vast and all of us start with bacteria because it's what we know best. And we uh, delve into so much that bacteria is never ending, it doesn't end bhi hoti hai, and we forget that there are so many other units of micro that are frequently, frequently tested in the exam. So, uh, it's not that bacteria won't come, it's just I personally feel that the yield of all other topics combined is equal to that or even more than that of bacteria. So, uh, it's a good idea that the rest of topics are cover and then uh, do, my, uh, do bacteria. And bacteria, maybe I feel uh, doing your simple sta uh, staff, strep and all, I mean, these are already come from a The trick is to do those organisms that we deliberately left out in our second year profs. And because they, that's what they keep on asking, you know, like leptospirosis, listeria, etc, etc, even rickettsia a lot in INICT. So you can go, uh, go along with this strategy in this last part of your revision. And a uh, parasito, I feel, has a very, very good yield in terms of kitna how much effort they and how many questions come up in the exam. So, parasito, we have to do everything uh, starting from the vectors of all diseases. Vectors are very, very commonly asked. And your images of worms, eggs, uh, you know, microfile area, ke, those sheathed, unsheathed, everything comes in the exams. Cycles are, is more important for INICT for sure than NEET PG, but they can still feature and uh, it's a good idea to have a look at them. Secondly, uh, mycology is also very, very high yield and with the recent times uh, as well, mycology comes a lot in the exams and it's a good idea to integrate it with derma because your superficial mycosis wala part gets covered by your derma micro both and uh, they are also frequently asked questions. So, go with that. Uh, then again virology and in virology especially general virology is very very important you know uh, the simple uh, mnemonics and uh, of which are enveloped which are non enveloped viruses which are dna which are rna single stranded double stranded etc uh, in marrow there is a very good class on general virology so you can do that because it has easy mnemonics even in the pearls you can find those easy mnemonics uh, so definitely do that and a lot of your virology will be covered obviously individual viruses are important especially arboviruses and various others so aa to kuch bhi sakta hai but general virology chhod ke nahi jani hai easy questions hai again stds uh, i have uh, said that previously also that they have to be done uh, from gynae point of view from psm point of view from derma as well as micro and you have to know their clinical features very very well ki kis mein painful ulcer hai kis mein painless ulcer hai you know which side there is uh, unilateral lymphadenopathy or bilateral lymphadenopathy everything and very small small details tricky questions come in stds so definitely do that as well as your kits very very important 
देन अगेन लाइक आई सेड बैक्टीरियो एंड बैक्टीरियो में डू द इम्पॉर्टेंट लिस्ट फॉर श्योर लाइक टॉक्सिन्स इज वेरी कॉमन या सो सब कि आपको टॉक्सिन जीरोस फैक्टर्स शुड बी ऑन योर टिप्स एंड कल्चर मीडिया ऑल्सो दे विल बी लिस्ट इन योर टी एन डी और ऑन मैरो एनी प्लेटफॉर्म यू विल गेट दीज लिस्ट सो ये कर लेना अगेन लाइक आई सेड रेड डिजीजेज लाइक लेप्टोस्पायरोसिस एंड ऑल आर फीचर्ड हैविली इन द एग्जाम एंड यू नो योर माइक्रोबायोलॉजिकल टेस्ट एंड ऑल ऑल्सो कम लाइक डार्क फील्ड किस में यूज करना है प्लाजमोडियम के लिए कौन से कौन से टेस्ट हैं सो इन जनरल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी ओरिएंटेड टेस्ट आर फ्रीक्वेंटली आर सो ये एक बार देख लेना अदर देन दैट योर सिंपल क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन ऑफ यू नो विच ऑर्गेनिज्म इज मोस्ट कॉमन पोस्ट बर्न्स पोस्ट ट्रांसप्लांट और योर प्रैक्टिकल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी क्वेश्चन सो दे फीचर दे डू फीचर इन द एग्जाम नाउ लास्टली इम्यूनो आई फील इज अ बिट डाइसी कि कितना करना है इम्यूनो में यूजअली क्वेश्चन आर सिंपल इनफ एंड काफ़ी लोगों को मतलब दे आर ऑन दैर टिप्स लाइक एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रिएक्शन यू नो योर फिनोमिनाज प्रोजोन है कि पोजोन है दो सिंपल डायग्राम्स ऑफ रेडियल इम्यूनो डिफ्यूजन एक्सेट्रा वट यू नो वॉट यू नेम दैम और एम एच सी कॉम्प्लेक्सेज समटाइम यू नो क्लासेज ऑफ एंटीजन एंटीबॉडीज सो दीज ऑल क्वेश्चन कम एंड दे आर इजी टू डू इम्यूनो डिफिशेंट डिसऑर्डर्स कैन कम बट इट्स डेफिनेटली मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आई नाई सी टी एंड दिस अ वेरी गुड क्लास बाई जेनाफोरा मैम सो यू कैन डू दैट as well now coming on to pharma so pharma fetches you a lot of questions 15 to 20 for sure and i feel ye sabse integrated subject hai it is integrated with almost uh, you know if not all most of the subjects so if your pharma is good in general and your concepts are well you can definitely score better in neat pg if not you should work on them in these last days uh, and i would suggest ki agar you know you have a lot of difficulty in remembering drugs and their side effects etc it's a good idea ki you do a question bank a day like a topic a uh, day for pharma and try to revise retrograde ki wo kaun si drug thi kya interaction tha etc when you revise from notes it can get a little bit tedious and you start forgetting sab kuch khichdi ban jati hai so if you take it step by step it will be easier for you to memorize now my basic notes were from dr gobind rai garg uh, back in second year only and they are very good for you know uh, building your basic concept and basic drugs uh, so definitely uh, you can revise that if you have them uh, but it is also important to revise your tnd and especially dbt in this last time because it will have updates and it's a shorter source for revision and it was very good in my time to uh, you know just go through even the new drugs and the most importantly tested ones so ये रिवाइज करके यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो Now, coming on to a few topics. So, although I have listed out a lot of them, and इससे नैरो में नहीं कर पा रही थी बिकॉज फार्मा में लिटरली कहीं से भी कोई भी ड्रग आ जाती है बट वॉट आई नोटिस इज दैट इट्स यूजली द लेवल ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज मॉडरेट दे मे बी अ लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी बट दे डोंट यूजली आज बहुत कोई डिफिकल्ट रेयर फिनोमिना और वेरी रेयर ड्रग सो ऐसी चीजें नहीं पूछते मेडिकली कॉमनली वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स आर वॉट आर आस्ट इन फार्मा सो जनरल फार्मा इज वन प्लेस जो सब छोड़ जाते हैं जनरल फार्मा प्लीज मत छोड़ना अगर अच्छी है तो छोड़ सकते हो अदरवाइज क्वेश्चन डू कम ऑफकोर्स इन नीड नीड पी जी बट आई एन आई सी टी एज वेल सो फॉर्मूलाज यू कैन डेफिनेटली रिवाइज वंस इन योर नोट्स फ्रॉम योर टी एन डी एनी वेयर लाइक यू नो योर वॉल्यूम ऑफ डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डोजिंग रो डोजिंग रेट एंड एक्सेट्रा ये सब बहुत कॉमनली पूछते हैं देन समथिंग दैट इज कमिंग अप अगेन एंड अगेन इज प्रिस्क्रिप्शन राइटिंग नाउ आई डोंट यू नो थिंक सो दैट यू नीड टू रीड सो मच अवर प्रिस्क्रिप्शन राइटिंग इट्स दे आर वेरी कॉमन सेंस क्वेश्चन एंड एज इंटर्न यू मस्ट हैव डन दिस अ मिलियन टाइम्स इज जस्ट यू नीड टू नो कि what is the correct way uh, to do it so very quickly you can go through your practical notes once if you really really are weak in it otherwise sabko aati hoti hai free ke questions hai then your drug inducers drug inhibitors very very commonly asked you can see the list kahin se bhi notes se maro se kahin se then your even your graphs of potency and all come and clinical trials uh, trials especially you should do uh, with the recent interest in how the vaccines were cleared and everything so clinical trials is an important area jahan pe questions aate hain 
Now coming on to specific topics, uh, definitely teratogenic drugs are very hotly asked and you have to do uh, the entire list of them and what all they cause, you should know very very well. Then your patent ductus arteriosus, so your PDA related drugs also very commonly asked and in fact unke mechanisms be important hai. You know what PG3 kya karata hai PG4, in fact the entire list of drugs you know which block PG3, PG4 etc etc very commonly asked questions. Again, uh, in general, common side effects of your uh, most drugs are asked and not just side effects. They love to ask interactions, contraindications, you know, they will give you a clinical history and usme, you know, if a patient uh, has, uh, say, asthma, history of asthma, what uh, drug to not give, what drug can be given. So, my patient is on multiple drugs and now he's presented with a particular problem to kiss drug ki wajah se wo hua hai so all of this is very important along with of course your uh, mechanisms of drugs uh, they frequently ask questions then among drugs that are commonly asked is like you know your uh, cvs may beta blockers antihypertensives then antimicrobials is definitely important so wo to aap micro ke saath dekhi lena a lot of questions come simple questions but a lot of them feature in your exam then diuretics, antidiuretics, another area in which a lot of questions are asked, uh, you know, integrated with nephrology. So, ye karne hi karne hai. Then uh, endocrine also uh, people leave out. So endocrine will fetch you good marks in medicine ke saati kar lena. Especially your calcium part, uh, diabetes, thyroid of course is important. OCPs, repeatedly I'm saying OCPs do uh, come a lot from gyne, PSM, pharma, all three. So har taraf se ek hi bar OCPs mein sab kuch nipta lena. And uh, coming, if uh, since we're discussing gyne, PPH drugs are also commonly asked. Uh, especially their mechanisms, how many times you can repeat them, you know, and there's specific doses all of this is very very important then cns in general is important uh, lithium is one uh, drug jo bar 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 poochte so it's a good idea ki psyche se bhi aap lithium kar lo and pharma se of course um, then even anti cancer drugs pehle only nict was asking a lot neat pg now is also asking anti cancer drugs but it's not in that much detail uh, mostly it's like uh, simple drugs ka mechanism of action you should know ki uh, dna synthesis inhibitors kaun se hain and you know dhfr inhibitor kaun sa hai so ye sab aana chahiye ye sab puchte hain then uh, definitely the list of which drugs are nephrotoxic which are hepatotoxic kahin pe bhi mil jayegi and it's mostly your uh, you know the knowledge you have accumulated over the years you sort of know ki kaun si nephrotoxic hai kaun si hepatotoxic hai but they are very commonly asked. Again, glaucoma drugs, very, very commonly asked. Ye bhi, you have to do from Ophtha, Pharma, both. And almost her sal, there is a question related to glaucoma, anti-glaucoma drugs. Then again, GIT does uh, get questions and uh, we leave GIT from all aspects. So GIT is a topic hai and you can do it quickly. And us medicine, pharma, path, Surgery, surgery me to bahut zyada aate, but medicine pharma path also comes a lot. So you can definitely do your anti-emetics, prokinetics, in kira mechanisms of actions and their specific side effects come. Uh, also peptic ulcer disease very commonly asked, to ye kar lena. Now recently update, there were a lot of updates in the regime for TB. So although itna detail me abhi nahi pooch hai about the new updates, but it can definitely come because it is a recent advance. And in general TB drugs ka mechanism of action, side effects everything about TB we are in India so everything about TB automatically becomes important now coming to this big question mark of COVID drugs ka kya karna hai? Uh, so although the last need PG was like socially distant from COVID and there weren't many or you know if at all like any significant questions on COVID but definitely basic drugs to poochi sakte hai, uh, especially mucormycosis ki so uh, you can go through them. Just pick one source and stick to it. Uh, if you've done it from your the dams ka COVID, ya fir you have done it from marrow or anywhere else, you have just just see the one video of uh, COVID from like all aspects and ek bar karke usse bhool jao. Bar bar bahut uh, detail me jana ye sab ka fayda nahi hai because it was such it is such an uh, uh, something that is being updated every day and new things are coming every day. So it's pointless to uh, you know do everything. It's simply not possible. Ek bar kar lo kahin se and it should be enough.
Then lastly, again, uh, Himad drugs, uh, they don't ask that much in NEAT PG, more for INICT, especially novel uh, anticoagulants, uh, but definitely the simple ones, dabigatrin and rivaroxaban and all, and even their uh, antidotes can be asked uh, in the exam, but do them in very much detail if you are uh, going in for INICT for sure. So I've tried to list out uh, the important topics as far as these two subjects are concerned. And uh, if they are weak, to it's a good idea ki abhi se thoda thoda every day kar lo because uh, I know micro and pharma can become very tedious and uh, very monotonous if you decide to give it a separate dedicated time. So you can try this uh, doing a little every day and hopefully it will uh, build more of reinforcement and a better memory for you. So all the very best for your exams. Bye-bye.